God. You should have already been prepared. Well, I was 99% prepared. Uh, yeah, although I did forget my cup that I always have. Oh, uh, no. Do you need to go get it? No, should I, I pause? No, I'll live. Okay, Olive. Theme song, motherfucking theme song for when life gives you lemons. This is the theme song for fucking when life gives you lemons. Lemons. Welcome to this thing. Hi, um. The recall. What? I'm, I'm call it. deciding what I want to call it today. Okay. I <laughs> yeah. guess I'll call it when life gives you lemons. Oh, thank you. Thank you for calling it by its title. Um. I think I'm gonna have to use your knee or your leg. Oh, because your ankle. Yeah, because. Yeah, we'll we'll explain the injuries. Yeah. Um, so, uh, uh. Do you have nopes? You know, there was one. I remember. I was like, oh, we're gonna talk about that. So I'll remember that. It was a big part of that. And uh -huh. now I can't remember what we were gonna talk no! about. No. I'm sure you wrote it down because it was something we did together. No. Well, I mean. Um, something will jar them. I right. know. I know. We were taught. I know that you said. This is all going to be on the podcast, and that was during... Okay, yeah, it was something. During the engagement party. Yeah, I don't remember. Okay, so let me just get that. some things out. Um, Kalibi is turning 18 in March, and he wants a tattoo, so I'm going to get Kalibi a tattoo. Um, Papa's birthday is today. Happy birthday, Happy Papa. Happy birthday, Papa! We love you. We do love you. And Brosif Oza Ding Dong will be officially a teenager tomorrow. A 13 year old attitude. 13 year old Brody. Odie, Odie, awesome yeah. brain. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, it should be a good show. We've been struggling a little bit lately. The last few shows have been struggled because we've been struggling a little bit. A lot of personal things going on, you know, battling. <laughs> we we yeah. haven't been getting along great. If you, <laughs> Obviously, you guys have noticed. But it seems like we're a lot of people have noticed. We're heading in the right direction, people. Everything's okay. Right. It's way too many years for us to just fucking be stupid. So. Yeah, yeah it's it's been yeah, it's been. I committed. I'm gonna die with you at some point. Please don't. Um, no, 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 it's gonna happen. So um, I was at the comedy store. That, um, That's okay. Well, here, okay. Comedy store. Here's the thing, guys. Um, I think I have to back up because. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So. So Wednesday, we do the podcast normally on Wednesday. Yeah. So what are you trying oh, to Oh, well, that's right, but we didn't talk about it because we didn't talk yeah, about we it because we weren't allowed. allowed. And we weren't getting allowed. Wednesday night, I got home from work, and John goes, well, tell mom. And I thought he was talking to Franny because we'd been back and forth going, well, tell dad he went outside and went potty like a big girl. So I'm like, oh, did you go potty outside? And he's like, Tyler, tell mom. And Tyler goes, I bought a ring. I am proposing on Sunday. Yeah, so we're going to be in-laws. I'm going to be a mother-in-law. Which gonna leans. I'm going to be the groom's mom, which means absolutely <coughs> nothing. <coughs> um, it means we're the secondary family. So so it was. It was a shot, like, we kind of knew it was going that way, but we were not expecting it to go as quickly. In fact, last weekend, Tyler and his now fiancé went to San Diego, and I straight up told John he's going to propose. Um, well, there you go. But I wasn't expecting it to be the next weekend. But hey, 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 hey. Okay, so that was Wednesday. So then Saturday, I was taking the dogs for a walk, but it was later at night, and I was... We, I, so there's a specific point where we run home because Franny's got like frantic puppy energy. Yeah, she's wild. She is full on puppy. Like when we first got her, she was like, oh, just hold me. I love to be held. And now she's like, I'm going to bite your toes. Fuck you. So, um, I'm going to kill this animal and I'm going to bite everyone and I'm going to stand on everyone. And so I was like, okay guys. And she was like pulling me and I was like, wait till we get to the pole. And I was like, fuck it. Let's just start running. Well, I was off to the side because it was later at night and I didn't want to get ran over. And half of my foot was on the road and the other half rolled off. There was a big pop. Thank God there was a chain link fence because I had to hold on to it. And then I had to wobble home. And so um, it's not, so that was Saturday night and then Sunday morning. Hang on. And then Saturday night you, you went to the comedy store. Right. No, that was Sunday. Oh, okay. okay. So Saturday night I got home and I was in so much pain. 
and we wrapped it and we iced it and then Sunday morning I was like it was black and blue and I'm like I I think I did something <laughs> we went and got her looked at so it's not broken so I mean I'm just a pussy I guess I don't know yeah pretty much. um That's so it. but that was Sunday and we were in the freaking ER for like four hours it was so stupid it was I, urgent, care. urgent care I hated it and then um and then we went home and Tyler told us that there was going to be an engagement party Sunday night. Right. Well, on, on Thursday. He told me on Thursday. I think he told you on Wednesday when he told Yeah, me. I think. But I wasn't under, like, it was just like, oh, I think, I think we're just going to have a little congratulatory. That's what I thought. Like, you know, <laughs> I think that's what like their family, like, you know, like their intimate family, like us. Just, hey, hey, great, awesome. But, oh, no. Well, I also had to work at the comedy store on Sunday because it was the goddamn comedy jam. And I only go one week in a month. Sometimes I do Annie Letterman's show, but I do Josh's shows and Josh expects. And I was like, whoa. I was like, uh, okay, okay. And I was like, okay, I can figure this out. And I text Tyler. I was like, all right, I'll be there, but I'm going to have to leave. And I'm sorry for that. Well, we get to the house and there's like no parking. Oh, no, no parking. There was probably 50, 50 60 people there. Yeah. At least. No, more than that. I'm just rounding. Yeah. Down. And we had to park far away. Mind you, no, my no, ankles. No, 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 let's, we had to park so far away, we literally parked across the street from Tyler's biological mother's grown up house. That's true. <laughs> uh, that's true. We, we had to park so far away. I mean, what are the odds? We're like looking at that. I was like, man, I could like feel evil using out of that house. That's funny. I didn't even think about that. Because I, so John parked my car and Brody and I started walking because we knew it was going to take me a while because I'm, I'm hobbling. So we get to the party. Nobody's answering the door. I'm like, we just got to walk in. So we walk in, and it is the widest party I've ever been to in my life. It was, it was funny. I, you know, like I said, it was, it was definitely, uh, uh, like I told you, uh, I tried, I don't know. It, it almost seems like. They were surprised that we were there. The amount of time she was like, oh, I'm glad you were able to come. I was like, well, it's our, our kids getting married. Like, right. It was very, they seemed very surprised that we were there. Yeah, I, I, I kind of wonder, like, if, does he not say he's, like, good with his family? Or maybe. We're all, we're all good. Maybe he's, you know, sometimes, like, when we're younger, we I like guess. to be more of a victim. That's true. So, like, you know, like, we talk shit a little bit more, so maybe they... Maybe they don't understand. Don't well, they're they're in for they're in for something exciting. Let me tell you, cause because they want to they want to intermingle with our family. It's going to be real interesting, real fast. Well, we get there and like it was so many people and well, I I get it. Like Tyler and Aubrey are very excited, but so they so, didn't really in, and, and yeah. Awesome. There's nothing yeah nothing wrong, but you know they didn't introduce us to anyone. They were just like ping pong, and I get it. They were probably super overwhelmed. I don't overwhelmed. think I really saw them. They were just off running, and I was just kind of standing. It, I literally knew you and Brody, uh-huh. me. Uh huh. I met her parents for like five minutes once, uh-huh. and I knew obviously her, and then and a couple of the friends. But for the most part, I knew like maybe, including you and Brody, like six people. I don't even know if I knew that many people. And only f- four of them that I like knew and talked to, like Jake, like the kids. Well, the those boys. are like those were those, those are, like, are ours. Little, those, are our boys, <laughs> those are ours, like. Was, when Jake you know, walked in, I was like, "Oh my God!" You thank know, God. you left, and I was talking to Anthony, one of one of Tyler's uh-huh. best buddies. That he's a paramedic. Uh-huh. He's he's seen some shit, right? Already. I mean, he's only been in like four years, and he's already seen him. I haven't talked to him. I was like, "Dude, how do you deal?" He goes, "It's." I go, you're, "Does it?" I go, "Does it harden you?" You're skipping. Why? You're, you're like talking a about, fucking CD. Well, I'm talking about the party. We're not. We were at the end of the party. Oh well, fine. Let's go back to the beginning of the party. Let's go. So we walk in, and it's insane, and it's just so many people we don't know. And then yeah. I, we go into the kitchen, and that her, the parents were there, and then the mom was like, "Oh, like I, I'm really glad you were able to come, and oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming." And I was like, "Okay." And I don't know, it was just, it was awkward. It was awkward. probably us over there. Yeah, 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 probably. And then, and then the mom was like, well, Aubrey wanted to get married in May, but I told her we were super busy because all of her cousins have finals. And I was like, yeah, well, Caleb has finals as well. And she goes, so we're going to, the venue called, they had a cancellation, and we're probably going to do it June 5th. 
And I was like, whoa, I am really busy in June. Which, if it had to be, we would cancel. Like, we're going to be there at our first wedding. There are puppies I need to get smacked. Yes, we, were, we would be there. But I was like, whoa. And she goes, oh, I guess we should have, um, what do you call, why can't I think of the word? I guess we should have collaborated with you on dates. And I was like. I don't, this is happening so fast. Right. Like, I'm like, this is already, so from what John and I have figured out, they have been planning on getting married for quite some time. The wedding is already, almost already planned. And the ring is just kind of a formality. Pretty. So, you know, and then the dad called everybody in the living room and he had Aubrey and Tyler recount their story. Recount their story and then I had to leave because I had, Josh was already texting me. He's like, where are you? Well, this was funny because he, the, her dad, they're, they're, uh, they're very, it's a very religious family, which is fine. That's on, you know, that's their thing. And, and they're like, we're going to do a prayer for, you know, this is awesome. We're going to do a prayer. And, uh, Right in the middle of the prayer, Joy's like, fuck it, I gotta go. I did. I wasn't even in the middle of the prayer. It was in the beginning. I was like, um. And, yeah. And the mom opened the door for me, so I think she knew. She's like, um. Well, I think, and that's another thing. Is like, I always, and I don't know if I feel bad or, because I don't, I don't, I feel bad because I'm not, like, playing along or something. I don't know. It's at times, but I'm standing there and, like, they're doing that after you left. And I just, I just looked around and I was like. Man, this is wild to me. Like, it, it is wild to me. because Maybe it's because I've never been involved and I don't understand it, but to me, it's wild. I was involved. I sang at church. It seems so culty. It, and it, I don't I don't want to disrespect it. No, 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 no. It's, it's just not... If it makes you happy, then right on. Just, yeah, but just don't... don't drink the Kool-Aid. Yeah, and don't, don't judge other people. <coughs> We're all people. We're all happy. <coughs> so, I took off... What do you think they're going to do when they find out he has a gay brother? I don't know, Kate. I don't know. That's going to be know. really interesting. Well, Aubrey knows, so but I feel like they don't talk about us at all. Yeah, so. I don't think we're in any of their conversations. Yeah, they, so. they don't really know our demeanor. No. I mean, they're all clean cut, and I come in with a big old beard usually. And, and I was showing cleavage. Because they do. They they don't. They're very conservative, like always turtlenecks, always high high collared shirts, which I remember doing when I was you know so whatever but anyway so I get to the comedy store I'm fucking late I'm so annoyed I'm frustrated my freaking foot hurts everything is just eh. so I get there and I'm standing there and I've missed like three people already that went up so I only made half of the show but then Harlan Williams walks up to me and he's like and dude those of you who don't know Harlan Williams just look him up on IMDB you'll remember everything he's been in half baked was the, was it like he the was monkey done. in space or something? Yeah, like that. Rocket Man, Rocket Man, Superstar, Superstar, uh, Dumb, Dumb and Dumber. Dumber. He was the cop that drinks the pee. Like you, you'd know him immediately. Yeah, he, something about Mary, also a cop. Right. That's yeah. So he comes up to you and he's all, "Hey, buddy, I was thinking about you." And I was like, "Yeah." He's like, "I got a story for you, buddy." Oh, that's cool. And I'm like, "Okay." And he goes, "Saturday." And he's like, "Wait, what is today?" And I'm like, "Dude, I don't even know what time it is." And I was like, yeah, it's Sunday. And he's like, so yesterday I was in Oklahoma, or he was somewhere, and I decided to get a massage. So I go in and I get a massage, and they had speakers all around the room playing Ocean. And he goes, but it wasn't like the... He said, it sounded like a fucking hurricane. (laughs) It's like... You're in a storm. Right. So he's like... You're getting rubbed down. So so then he's like, I felt like I was getting waterboarded. And then the lady comes in and he goes, she was doing this. And he goes, oh, you can go harder, buddy. Like, go harder. And she goes, okay. And then she went like this. Oh, she was just there for the handy. I don't know. I No, I don't know. But he was all, he goes, the whole time I was all, Joy wouldn't be doing this. Joy wouldn't be doing this. Joy would get into this. What? It, what? <sighs> this isn't Joy. Did you like, well... Call me. And then I, yeah, I go, I was sort of laughing. And then he went, he goes, and then I went up to the front and they're like, how was it? And he's like, I'm going to be honest with you. That was awful. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you said something. But it, I was like, oh, that made me happy. So then the night, it was really quick. I was home and like, I was yeah. home quick. Yeah, I think you're home early. And then I slept on the couch because my ankle and it was just, so that was Sunday 
And then Monday, I took a somebody shift at Med Spa, and then I did our vet, Franny's vet, and Franny's vet's wife. I think it's weird that we're exchanging money to each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to charge you this much for your dog. Well, guess what? I'm going to charge you this much. We should just have an envelope that we just hand back and that forth to each other. With cash in it. Uh-huh. Back and forth. And I super, it made me like him and his wife. I never, well, obviously, never Good met nice, his wife. Nice people. Good people. And you're cracking up, though. And so then I got home, and I was in so much pain, and John took me back to the comedy store, because I was like, I can't. Yeah, because there was I another show, The Shimmy So we go to The Shimmy and we're there, and then, fucking, did you see this? So Jeremiah was, Oh, yeah, yeah, Jeremiah did the thing for Brody. Well, oh, Jeremiah did the thing for Brody, yeah. Um, okay, so Jeremiah Watkins, who we love. Yeah, and I'm sure if you you've probably heard him and things, he's done a lot of voiceover stuff, and he's got he's done a lot. He's got a pretty good podcast. So Jeremiah was on on my chair getting a massage, right? Uh huh. And then Jamar. Uh, Jamar, Jamar made a picture that, that said he was. He said he was going to draw him. Uh-huh. That's so funny. And I told Jamar I want to buy that painting and I want to put it in my massage studio. That's great. And he said it was sold, so it's mine. Yay! Oh, so you bought it from him? Uh huh. And so it's just really cool that. And um, I was like, oh, so that so and then Jamar is there and I. There is something about Jamar that makes me mom him every time. He's a big kid. And I, I love him. Like, I have pure love for him. He fucking cracks me up. So, he came in and I was talking to him and he's like, you're being a mom. And I'm like, I'm sorry. And he's like, no, 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 it's okay. It's okay. And I was like, stop being a mom. So, it was cool. Uh, Shimiya was super fun. John was there. Everybody, it was, our whole crew was there, which is always fun when all of us are yeah, there. That's pretty cool. So, Rebecca, Eric, Justine, and me. And, you know, so it's just, it's fun. And let's see what else happened yeah, in there. Let me look at my notes. So I don't think I have a note, but I'll look. I know there was something I was going to say. I was all excited about it, and I fucking didn't write it down because so I was like, "Oh, never forget that. That was so funny." So yeah, and then yeah. apparently the Botox didn't work because I can still move my Ooh, forehead. That's something. Okay, that's something. Oh, uh, okay. That was a note. No, no. Go ahead. Finish. No, that's that's about it. No, I and honestly, think... I've been in. So much pain since Saturday night that I when I get home I just sit now because it hurt, my ankle hurts I go to the orthopedist tomorrow um like I said for, oh and then we're going <laughs> I'm driving to Visalia tomorrow man my ankle's gonna be so I'm driving to Visalia tomorrow it's gonna be a midnight back yeah but it's on a Friday it's on a Thursday oh it's on I mean the next day's a Friday. You're not You've going. already kept me up past midnight this week. Oh, oh, so you're not going. I didn't say that. That's just my baby night. brother's gonna be know. there. I don't know. I haven't decided. It's tough. Anyway, my baby brother's gonna be there. Um, so I'm gonna go see my parents and my baby brother, and we're going to try name. and sign me up for my Indian card. So how, is, that, is there something going on out there? Yeah, it's a powwow. <clears throat> But when you're at the powwow, they have their lawyers and people there oh, already, right. so hopefully I can just get it all done right. there. That's why it I'm going. It should be easy because it should you be have easier. your debt yeah. in your paperwork. Yeah. So there's all that. Um, so I'm sure I will have parental stories. And like I said, it's Brody's birthday tomorrow, so we're, I'm going to try to attempt to take my family out to dinner for Brody's birthday. Okay, go. What's your note? Well, I had this note because... I was just randomly, you know, just Facebooking or something, just cruising around. Stalking. And this thing pops up. So, so this thing pops up, and I was like, holy shit, I never knew this existed. So, back in 70s or so, do you remember, we, remember last year, people who, some of you will probably remember, we talked about a story of Major the Lion. Uh-huh. He was a, a drugged-up lion mm-hmm. who they left on a porch chained on a porch at Magic Mountain and let us kids, literally let us kids, literally climb all over this fucking cat. A giant, giant fucking lion. No joke, no bullshit. Anyway, so what pops up on uh, just a random thing is like class sums up, sums up in Irvine. So in Irvine, next near Disneyland, they had a place called the African Lion Safari. And they had like this 40 acres in the middle of Irvine 
that had this like little safari park in it. Oh shit! And they had lions. They had lions. Oh, oh, we got an escapee. <laughs> they had they had drafts and they had lions and like you you know do the old drive through like they do. And, and people are like, I remember a lion came up, sat on our man. You just ruin your cars. Yeah. And they don't care. And how do you do that with your insurance? Uh, so, uh... So I had an accident. Um, what happened? Lion climbed on my car. A cat? A big lion cat. Where? where? Um, in Irvine. <laughs> really? Yeah, I was, I was at a stoplight. <laughs> I hung up right, and there was like ten lions right there, and I went really slow, but... One of them climbed up. Yeah. It's like to fuck my car. I just thought it was really crazy, though, that there was, like, this fucking, like... Do you I think they think, were drugged, too? I just think back to the 70s, and I'm like, holy fuck, man. We were just... They yeah. just let us do... It, the 70s and 80s. And that goes back to the note I was going to take. I just remembered. Oh. So, good news. I found... I, I I reconnected with an old friend, which is, like... So, one of my oldest friends, uh, uh, Joe King... Yeah, he was one of our original guys who'd come on and hang out with us. He's a good buddy of ours. So so at the same time I met Joe, I met another kid, also named Joe. And that guy, I shouldn't say Joe on that one, no. So that guy, anyway, so I grew up with I grew up with these two guys, right? So and separate like obviously separate, but so we reconnected. I hadn't found this guy in years. It'd been thirty seven years since I've talked to this dude. Yeah, I could remember the last time we talked. Like he was in, a, he brought this his little Honda over, and it had no. I remember because it, it had no headrests. He had the headrest off of it, right? And I'm like, wow, he's like, that's cool, <laughs> right? So, and I laughed about that, and I and I was told him I was, he lived in kind of, you know, he lived in Pompton, mm-hmm. Palmdale for you two don't know, mm-hmm. and um, and so you know, I was worried. I was I always wondered, like, man, what happened to him? And I could never find him. So I, I googled like his hometown, and that, and it popped up. And then I cyber stalked his. I, I go, okay, he had a sister that was with Michelle. I knew that, so I went. If if there's a Michelle on his page, it's him. And I find him, and I'm all excited. So anyway, I met, we messaged back and forth, and we talked on the phone, and we were laughing because we were th- we were talking about a story when we were kids. Last weekend it rained, and they closed Magic Mountain for the weekend. Uh huh. Rained too hard. Well, I was explaining to the kids, man, when I was a kid. We would go to Magic Mountain. We had season passes, and it would be pouring rain. And nobody would be there. We thought it was great, and we would go on water rides and everything. And it's like 50 degrees, and we're freezing. Now we're freezing so cold. Both of us are crying because we're so cold. <laughs> and we have to call his mom to come pick us up. Now, what what I realized when I, we were laughing and we were talking about the story was. What the fuck were my families thinking? We were nine years old. <laughs> nine years old. And they're like, mm, all right, have a good time. Call us when you're done. Mm-hmm. Just leave your nine-year-olds at fucking Magic Mountain unsupervised. They're supervised. Magic Mountain was our babysitter. Yeah. but It's would, cheaper than a babysitter. It's but, would you, but would you do that? Like, you send your nine-year-old today. You wouldn't fucking send a nine-year-old by himself. Hey, good time. I think I would. See, you got to think. Okay, so I, I figured this was fourth grade. Mm-hmm. Fourth, no, third third or fourth grade. So I was, it may have been eight, eight, nine. That's insane. I, I'm a bad parent. Okay, this is the that's, thing, too. I mean, I don't know. That's, we just talked about this, too, is we're pretty sure by next year we're going to have we're going to be grandparents. Oh yeah, we'll be grandparents before before May. the middle of 2025 for sure. But I was telling John cuz my mother-in-law's like, "Well, you said you wanted kids." And I was like, "Actually, I don't." And I was like, and she's like, "Joy." And I was like, "No." I was I was whatever. If they happen cool, if they don't. But here was my and I go, "No, no, no. Listen. I go, I'm not being an asshole. I go, I don't want grandkids because my kids were so hard, and I'm so tired, and I'm so exhausted, and I didn't do the best job with all three of them. I don't want to fuck it up again. I don't want to go through this again. I want to be done. And that's why I'm like, I just the I want mental. To be done. I'll get a puppy. She's a baby. I she'll be, fucking puppy. She'll be dead in goes. 10 years. It's fine. Like, that's fine. Like, I don't want to say it, it'd be okay if the kid is dead in 10 years, because that sounds awful. Yeah, but, like, a puppy, you're like, all right, uh, got a couple years, love you, licks, 
And they never say I'm stupid, and they never yell at me, and I don't do anything. You know why? Why? Because they, they can't, can't talk. talk. I just farted. All right, lick clip surprise. Is that it? Or yeah, the, yeah. Farted, we're in. That was the ending bell. All right, well, thanks for listening. <laughs> Check us out. Like us. Oh, uh, and we once again. Um, Live episode coming in June. That's life. a few few months away there, but Fuck. it doesn't matter. It's going to come fast, and we are going to be there, and we are going to be assholes in what we do, do what we do best. And there's probably, I have a feeling in June, the first three weeks, we're probably going to end up I, doing four episodes. Yeah, I think it's going to be, Cause we're gonna have it's going to gonna be wedding, uh-huh. book signing, book signing, live podcast, breathe. Yeah, so, yeah, there's going to be, so, and, we're oh, going to have a wedding wait, 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 exclusive. Breathe. July 4th. Then, what's after July 4th? Your birthday. Yay, it's your birthday. So, um, <coughs> and then probably a pregnancy amou- announcement in August. So, um. <laughs> Did take that long? No, I was being generous. But I'm thinking first dump. But I'm telling you, <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, um, we will have an exclusive wedding podcast. Just the wedding alone. Oh, and we if it's. have a special? A wedding special? A wedding special, special yeah. And so, um, lit cl- surprise, email us, all that fun stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, fucking talk to us. Quit being bitches. Yeah, don't be bitches. And now I really have to lose weight because I have to be in a wedding. Or, no, I don't. I'm not in a wedding. Yeah, we're going to be there. Hopefully. Maybe. We're, we're invited. Um, <laughs> you think they'll make us sit on, like, um, can you guys sit in the very back? <laughs> but we're his parents. Uh, oh, really? Oh, wait. Well,. Half of them, you know what? I also figured this out because you know there was a couple times we're like, "Hi, we're Tyler's parents," and they'd all give us this weird look. It's because none of them call him by Tyler, so I don't think anybody knew who we were. Oh, that's a good point. Yes, because we kept going, "We're Tyler's parents," and they're like, "Oh, okay." But I think if we would have been all, "We're Barnes parents," right, 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 right. Because at one point, and this is this is true, and I should I kind of figured it out, but I wanted to make sure because they kept saying Barnes, 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 and I fucking looked at John and I go, Tyler's. Barnes, right? Like, what the fuck is happening? And the, her mom was right above us, and we were laughing because we started laughing. And I go, yes. I go, I go. He's. I go. It's still too hard for me. It's always going to be Tyler to me. Yeah. It, it, I can't. It's always going to be Tyler. Barnes. So yeah. So anyway, check this out. So I was talking to uh, Tyler's buddy. Uh huh. Right. And we were we were chatting because I was like, hey man, you got to be hardened up to be a paramedic because you got to see some fucked up shit. And he mm-hmm. goes, yeah. He goes, honestly. He goes, he goes, I cleaned up brains today. Damn. He's like, he's like, I, I, I had fucking or shit everywhere, right? And I go, damn, that's fucked up. Like, right, like a self-inflicted thing or something. And then he's like, the hardest part for me to deal with is when they're young. Right. And I go, of course, I don't know how you could deal with that. That's actually the, that's actually the fucking killer for me. That right. I wouldn't do it. And he's like, he's like, yeah, but I see some shit, dude. And then I asked him about the story about this girl who had, had been there was a murder up in the canyon. I guess my son up again. And uh, so I guess it was like this Tinder date murder, and I know you want to get rid of it, but it was like a Tinder date murder out in the, up in a canyon by right where I play disc golf all the time. Like right. I, I heard the gunshot when they killed the perpetrator. That's insane. Allegedly. You know, from, no, no, it's what it was. Oh. It, well. it was literally. So anyway, this guy had stabbed this lady, killed her, and she had dragged herself out of the car and died in the middle of the road. Right, and the car was sitting there, no damage, but there's, I guess, he goes, man, I approach the car, there's stuff everywhere, blood everywhere. So he opens the car, and he's looking around, he sees it. So his partner goes, we have to administer CPR. So they start, even though they kind of know, they start, and they go to open it up, and they see all the stab wounds, and they're like, holy shit. And then they're like, fuck it. There could be someone still around. They're in the middle of the canyon, there's nowhere to go. There's somebody around. Mm-hmm. So they jump, so they jump in there, they're their ambulance and just lock the doors and hang out and wait for, you know, the cops to get there. Mm-hmm. So they're sitting there waiting to, to, for the cops because they get there and they're, you know, going to clear the scene or whatever. And that's when the dude comes out of the bushes and the cops take him out. He goes, dude, he goes, he goes, Mr. Barnett, he goes, I was on the driver's side, looked in. <laughs> Barnes, dad. Yeah. He goes, I, I, he goes, I look, well, they call him Tyler still. <laughs> I lock, they do. I lock. I, that's I, how we'll know. He goes, <gasps> that's how they're going to separate the wedding. Are you for Barnes or Tyler? 
<laughs> so, so he says, he goes, he goes, Mr. Barnett, he goes, I look, was in the driver's side looking, and I was going to go to the passenger side and look, and he goes, and if I would have gone the passenger side, that guy was 15 feet from me in the bushes, and there's no doubt he was, he, he would have charged him, because he was already a lunatic, right? Yeah, he already did it And once. there would have been nobody to stop him up there. That's insane. And he goes, he goes, he goes, honestly, I feel like my partner saved my life that night. Oh. And I was like, that's crazy. Like, he's telling me some other stories, and I was like, dude. He's like, yeah, so, he's all... This, you know, Your husband's calling you. I'm sorry? Your husband's calling you. You can't hear him barking? Oh. Dear husband, man, love, no. love of my life. It's love my life. Uh, yeah, I just thought that was a crazy story he was crazy. telling me. And then we were just, because we were talking about, you know, in, we were talking about the religious side of things a little bit. And he was then he was like talking about that. And he's like, it's hard for me because I see this stuff. Mm-hmm. He goes, it's hard. It's really hard. You know, and that's what we were talking about. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. And, uh, yeah, I'll end on a murder. <laughs> I'll end on, well, at least we didn't end on a fart. Um, and we didn't fight. We, not yet. Oh, well, let's fix that. All right. <laughs> like, nine things just went through my head that I could say that and would you know be. you know it's funny? And I was thinking immediately. <laughs> I was like, well, do you want to? Because, um, we can. Are we going to fight now? Or are we going to save it? We've been fighting too much. We're going to take a break. We've been fighting so much. Well, it's been it, like months. Yep. See? Yep. It's me. It's, I, it's me. Always. Always. All right. 100%. All right. Goodbye. Good day. Thanks for listening. Yeah. Click subscribe. Do something like us. <laughs>